Good afternoon, and welcome to Flannel Hill Farm. Oof. Uh, this morning we went into town and we got some more wood. Um, we came to the conclusion that some longer boards would be better on the top plates. My original wood calculation was very um, primitive and easy. Turns out longer stuff is better. Hold. So, at this point, we need to gather some supplies because now we are in the, I assume, I have not checked, that we are in the cooler part of today. So, I need a pencil, a sawzall, a Mountain Dew. The idea is to be in by winter. I'm hoping to have the exterior done sooner than that. But, well, I guess you get to look at some mineral wool. It's an insulation, sorry. Mineral wool is an insulation different than fiberglass. Um, it's a little more dense, I would guess. And it's a little bit, well, it's not fiberglass. It's m more natural, I, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it is ground up, it's kind of like rock wool, if you know what rock wool is, but it's not rock wool brand, which means it's just mineral wool, <laughs> but it's like ground up rocks that they turn into like a fine sand and somehow clump together. I don't really know. All I know is... I got the same effects, I would say, from it as I do to fiberglass. So when we were putting it up, my face hurt, my eyes hurt, um, I was coughing, so, I don't know. Benefits, probably in the insulation. And the insulation factors, I don't know if there's much benefit in the installation aspect of it. It is a little bit more rigid, if that's something you're looking for. If you have just open um, cavities where you can just stand one up these do that a little better but insulation is not my favorite thing to deal with so I'm not the best person to ask about that I would just prefer not doing it wow I should really get sponsored by Mountain Dew. That'd be good. That'd be good. That'd be a good sponsor. Look how I make it work. I run on Mountain Dew. Hi. What are you doing? You're making this very difficult. Are you aware of this fact? That was the door to the shed. 
So today, now that we know where we want all of these windows, we are now going to be making, so this is the idea. We're making these top jack studs. We're gonna put another king stud in and then we're gonna put a header over the top. So the problem was, was we wanted it to be as symmetrical outside, like looking at it as we could. And that was slightly difficult because we had to do a door which was bigger than the windows. And we had to make a bigger gap than any of the other gaps because of the wood stove. So we got it to what we thought. And then we put all of those in. And now we know that that's what we want. So we can do it. Oh, it's okay. I need a nail gun and nails. I didn't even think about nails to begin with. Y'all. We did this morning and then it was too hot or it was warm. And Big K was like, You need to n just wait until the the cooler part of the day. Oh, okay. Well, waiting turned into me falling asleep. I don't do well after naps. I don't know. Does anybody else have like? So I get. Um, headache kind of thing I get which I think now that I'm older and I now that I'm older and I know more about the world around me I kind of think that my actual problem is probably some slight dehydration after a nap I think I think I get too warm and then I get dehydrated, but I don't know. But now that I'm mature enough to actually try to figure it out, I think that's what it is. So. You guys are gonna get a kick out of this. So my tool belt is, it's a very nice tool belt. I think it's made by Cat. Is it? Yeah, it's made by Cat, like Bobcat, Cat. I have one pouch and then I'm supposed to have another big pouch. And then I have a hammer holder and I got another little like nail pouch back here. But that's about it. I got these little D-ring things too. But I don't have enough body circumference to handle both bags. So I had to give one up. And I, looking back on it, I think I gave the wrong one up. But it is what it is and this is working for now, so. There could come a time where I switch it and I put the other bag on and take this one off, but it was the most ridiculous thing putting my belt on and realizing that I had to give up a pocket. Big K's got both of his, so I mean, he can just hang on to more, I guess, but... I'm starting to realize that through school, I did this. We built houses and stuff in school. And I'm starting to realize 
why my mom always got me this like leather looked like a little kid belt because it was about all I could handle so morning so there's big K coming to help he's uh likes to call himself cut man he's gonna make all my cuts and is basically going to be out here for my benefit and i have a irrational fear of failing so he's just gonna be out here double check me and make sure that i don't do something stupid so i think i need a hat Big K is going to need a hat. Hat would be good. I don't know how many times my part has burned this year. Uh, it is what it is. Okay. I think that's it. If we're just cutting and putting new king studs in, that should be it. Right? I brought a bunch of nails, which I don't think will even go through this many, but I got them. So, okay, we can do this. I took a lot of days off, y'all, and I apologize. Every day that I said I'm going to do walls, I did not. But y'all told me that I needed to relax and recuperate and I did but y'all holding me accountable is also a good thing too so I appreciate it you all are the best oh gosh oh well, I may have been able to push grilling chicken off a day So, I don't like the ends. I don't like that they poke me. I don't like that. So, looks like I'll have to come back out here today. I thought I had picked enough to... Oh my word. You guys were out here with me when I picked cucumbers. And we, and everything. Look at, already. Y'all. Oh my. We missed one. You guys should have told me. Look. That one I need to take now. <laughs> or that one will turn into... might already be one to just grab seeds from. That's huge. I'll go hand it to Big K. We'll see what he says. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna have to come back out here. So I think this is the Delica melon, but look at how big this thing is. Look at that melon. Oh, that's incredible. I'm gonna have a lot. That's fine. There's uh, Acre Homestead, Becky at Acre Homestead. Her mother-in-law, I think, introduced her to pumpkin pasta. I'm wondering how much um, pasta sauce. I'm thinking spaghetti, spaghetti squash. 
and this pumpkin sauce. I wonder if you can make it with all the squashes. Dogs are being naughty. All right, well, I'm gonna get to work. I will update y'all tomorrow or Monday, depending on if rest today is still legal tomorrow. All right, on your way back down the hill, if you wouldn't mind liking, sharing, subscribing, hitting the little bell notification button, and Let me know how your gardens are functioning and if you're putting them away, what do you do to put them to rest? I appreciate y'all.